what is up Airsofters, Beardsoft here with an Airsoft GI unboxing. Stay tuned. What is up Airsofters, Beardsoft here. Today I have for you an Airsoft GI YouTube mystery box. This box was $150 and it promises something that'll get me 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Results may vary. Um, I'm pretty excited to open this box. It's been a while since I've bought any mystery boxes from Airsoft GI. I've seen a lot of videos. People have won some really amazing prizes. So I'm really looking forward to what's in this box. One of the cool things about this mystery box that was different than other Airsoft GI mystery boxes was that it let you put in a comment for none other than Cisco himself. You could put in any comment you wanted to, and it's possible that Cisco would grant your wish. Uh, so with that, let's start opening this box. Um, I think it came in at 10 pounds from UPS. Um, it's pretty long. It doesn't feel like the gun inside fills the entire box. So let's get to it. Um, I'm hoping the packing slip is in here so I could read off what I wished from Cisco. <laughs> Let's see if the packing slip is here. Okay, so the message I wrote for Cisco was, I wish Cisco would give me something Gucci to unbox on my YouTube channel. Something so tasteful, it will bring tears of gratitude to my subscribers' eyes. So we're gonna have three ratings whenever I reveal what's in the box. The first one, is it Gucci? The second, is it tasteful? And third, mayo? And so let's see what's in here. Looks like a nondescript kind of black box. Let's pull this out. To the side. It says UK arms on the outside, right there. I don't really see anything that says what it is. Uh, let's open this up. You guys see it first. I think you can probably see what's in there. I can't see it yet. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so it looks like we got A and K or UK arms. Not really quite sure what this is actually. Well, we've got the gun here. Got a P mag. Got an unjamming rod. Looks like we have some sights. And then a pack of BBs. And a couple packs of tasty treats. All right, so I wasn't really sure what this gun was. I had to go look it up. It looked like the Masada, but this front rail was a little bit different than what I've, I'm used to seeing. Um, it turns out this is the AMK Masada CQB. So what makes this different from the regular Masada is that this has a slightly shorter barrel. Um, instead of a polymer front handguard, this actually has a full metal rail system up here. So you can see it's a quad rail. It's got Picatinny on all four sides. Pretty heavy duty gun. As I said, this front rail is metal. This top receiver is metal. Um, this bottom section here is a pretty nice quality polymer. Um, we've got the folding stock in the back so you can you know, fold it in like that. Um, it also extends out quite a ways. It's got an adjustable cheek crest, so if you wanna lay down on it. Um, pretty nice quality, actually. So it's got this nice monolithic rail on top. We've got ambidextrous fire controls. So the first 90 degrees is semi, and then another 45 degrees is full auto. Um, it's pretty snappy. It feels like it's gonna lock in place pretty good. Um, it looks like we have ambidextrous magazine release on both sides. And then also on the bottom here by the trigger guard, it actually has your bolt release. Pretty nice. As for the battery, it looks like it's a small Tamiya and you have to take this front handguard off somehow to access that.
comes with this high capacity PNEG style magazine. Um, it feels like an okay quality plastic. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it's got some clear windows there so you can see inside. Uh, the top is also clear. Seems to fit pretty nicely, locks in pretty good. It's got a little front to back wobble, but that's not too bad. Magazine release on one side. Magazine release on the other side works pretty good. Um, this trigger bolt release is pretty awesome. Um, so overall, I think I'm pretty pleased with this purchase. Um, again, this was the $150 Airsoft GI YouTube mystery unboxing. I paid $150 for this box and I got this AMK Masada CQB edition with the metal front handguard. That was worth about $285. So I'm gonna throw a battery in this to see how she sounds and then we'll go through my final ratings. So it took me a while to get this front rail off. I was using the wrong pin. It was actually this bottom pin here. So once you take that pin out, the front hand guard slides right off. Um, so you can see inside we have a small tomato connector and a fuse. I'm, I'm gonna try out this Titan 3000 milliamp 7.4 volts uh, lithium ion battery. Two hours later. Um, so I managed to squeeze that Titan battery in there. You can see it's over here on the side. I don't know if you can see that. It's wedged in there pretty good. I probably have to try to find a smaller battery. Uh, so let's see how it sounds. Uh, this is semi. Decent. Here's full auto. And here's semi again. Um, overall, it sounds pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with this purchase. Uh, let's go through the ratings. So the first thing I asked for from Cisco was something Gucci. Um, I think he delivered with this Airsoft replica. I mean, it doesn't get much more Gucci than a Masada. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the one with the polymer grip, but the CQB rail system, I mean, it just feels awesome. Throwing EOTech on there doesn't get much more Gucci than that. I mean, what other M4 platforms have a folding stop like this? You know, you can go around corners. Oof, she Gucci. Uh, the second thing I asked for from Cisco was something tasteful that would bring tears of gratitude to my subscribers' eyes. So if you're watching this video and you think that this Airsoft replica is tasteful, leave a crying emoji in the comments for Cisco to see. And then my last rating criteria, mayo. I think she's spicy.